Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I am Faraz and I hope you are preparing well for your interviews. So today in this video we are solving the second question of the Lead Code Contest 248. The problem is eliminate maximum number of monsters. So basically we are playing a video game. Okay, I'm just going through the problem statement. I hope you must have read the problem statement. If you haven't, you can just pause the video and read it. So I will just briefly tell you what the problem statement is. So basically there are certain monsters and there's a city in which we are living okay so this is the city in which we are living there are uh, several monsters okay so these are the monsters which are approaching us now their distances are given from the city the distances of all these monsters are given from the city few are far few are near okay also their speed is given like with what speed are they approaching the city now we are here we are the uh, warrior of the city the savior of the city and we can kill those monsters okay we can kill those monsters with our bow and arrow but we uh, we can kill only one monster at a time okay maybe uh, I think the it is given in each minute e in each minute we can kill only one monster okay so let us say in one minute two monsters are approaching and two monsters are going to arrive at the city we will be able to kill only one of them and one of them will arrive at the city and we will lose the game so as soon as any of these monsters arrives at the city we are going to lose the game okay so what we have to return we have to return the maximum number of monsters that we can kill before the first monster actually reaches the city right so this is what we have to return okay I hope the problem statement is now clear to everyone so we are given their speeds and we are given their distances and what we have to deal is with time okay because we, uh, in each minute we can kill one of the monster so we have to deal with time so first of all the very first thing that we can do is we can find the time of each of these monsters the time in which they are going to reach the city we know speed is equal to distance divided by time distance upon time so we are given speed we are given this distance we have to calculate time so time is going to become distance divided by speed so for each of distance divided by speed so for each of these monsters we can calculate this distance divided by speed that is time in which they are going to arrive at the city now let us say we have the time in which they are actually going to arrive at the city for this monster it is uh, the first minute for this monster it is 1.5 minute for this monster it is maybe 3 minute for this monster it is 5 minute now in this case uh, which monster should we kill first okay in this uh, in the f first second or I mean in the first minute which monster should we kill this is the clock and this clock is starting from zero okay so which monster should I kill first obviously this monster is going to arrive the earliest so we are going to kill it if we kill this monster this monster is going to arrive us and we will lose the game so uh, to be on safer side we'll kill the monster which is going to arrive which is going to arrive the earliest so we will eliminate this now our clock is going to point to one okay from zero it goes to one right now which is the second monster that we are going to kill out of these three so this is the uh, monster that is going to arrive when it is 1.5 minutes so just kill this monster okay now our clock is going to point to two so we have enough time we can even sit for one minute and then kill this monster but why to take the risk simply kill it now itself now our clock will point to three now again we can rest we can have some rest and wait for this monster to arrive because it will be arriving when the time is 5 so we can just wait but we are not lazy so we are going to kill this monster also so we are able to kill all these monsters uh, but there might be cases in which let us say if this if the time of the second monster would have been um, uh, maybe 1.5 minute and the time of third monster would have been 1.7 minute then uh, we will not be able to kill this he is going to reach us first and the game will be over so the answer in that case will be two because we killed two monster before the first monster arrived at the city so this is what we have to do the first thing is to calculate the time 
right? So before we move ahead, let us talk about interviewing.io. Interviewing.io is a platform where you can practice realistic coding interviews with interviewers from Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, and other major tech giants. And they will give you a detailed feedback on the areas where you have to work. And the best part about this is you don't have to pay them anything until you are hired. They have the world's largest network of interviewers from these companies, so you can get your interview scheduled with a notice of 24 hours. So if you are preparing for any such company, you can definitely check out interviewing.io. The link is in the description. So I simply, oops, should I show the solution? Okay, let me show the solution. So the first thing that I uh, did is to calculate the time to calculate the time and push it back into another vector which is of double type why double because uh, this could be decimal okay this could be decimal as well also one thing that you have to keep in mind is uh, you have to type cast it into double while you calculate this division otherwise this is going to return you an integer so integer divided by integer is an integer so the decimal part will be gone so you have to include this explicitly these doubles after pushing them you can just sort them according to the time so that uh, whatever MOS is as, uh, at the front of this time array, time vector, is the one who is going to reach us first. Okay, sort it in increasing order. Now, this is our clock starting from zero. This is our answer starting from zero again. So, we are going to each of these monsters one by one. Okay, if that monster, this is the time of that monster, this A is the time of that monster arriving at the city. So at this time, the monster is going to arrive at the city. Now, if this time is, is smaller than the our clock, let us say our clock is pointing at 2 and this time is smaller than that 2. That it means that before we kill that monster, that monster is going to reach us. In that case, this A is going to be smaller than T. So we lost the game. We have to break it out from here. We cannot play the game further and return whatever the answer that we have. Okay. Otherwise, let us say if our clock is, uh, if this T is actually smaller than this A, Okay, so the monster is arriving late. In that case, we can kill that monster. We can increase the answer and then increase the clock, because uh, after killing that monster, we have to go to the very next minute. We cannot kill any more monsters in this particular minute. So we have we are incre uh, increasing this clock. I hope you understand the solution. This is a really simple solution, and uh, the time complexity of this solution is big O of n log n. Why n log n? Because we are sorting it. Okay, this become this becomes n log n in terms of time and in terms of space it is going to become big O of n because we are uh, creating this vector big O of n okay this in this is in terms of space so this is it for the solution if you like it please leave thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe to the channel you can check out more content on my channel as well so thanks